Here it is guys, this is the video that you've been waiting for, my Marvel Legends series unboxing video. So without further ado, I hope you guys enjoy my brand new unboxing video because I had so much fun unboxing this. Like, I feel like a nerd that geeks out excitedly in such a way after unboxing this for how amazing this figure is. So without further ado, Enjoy the unboxing video you guys have been waiting for since June 24th. What is going on everyone? My name is the Mac Talk here and welcome to a brand new unboxing video for Marvel Legends series. And today... I'm going to be unboxing one of the figurines I was supposed to get on June 24th, but unfortunately got delayed. But as of recently, it finally shipped, and I just received it yesterday. Introducing the Marvel Legend series, Venom Let There Be Carnage, Carnage. I've been excited for this figurine ever since it got announced. After getting the Venom figure, obviously I was highly awaiting this figurine for Carnage, and as you can see... The figurine of Carnage is right there along with like the extra hand blades, tentacles, and sword type stuff on him. And of course an extra head that you can attach to the figurine that has him opening his mouth, showing his nasty tongue. And as you can see the logo for Venom, let there be Carnage, is right there along with Marvel's Carnage right there and you can see some CG render of Carnage in full glory and the back here is obviously the poster they had for one of the posters they had for let there be Carnage and pretty much that's about it that you can see in the box in the top of the box shows the logo for Venom let there be Carnage as well so without further ado let's get on with unboxing Venom let there be Carnage Carnage Figurine, let's do this. There you go guys, I got Carnage out of his box, and here is the figure of Carnage along with an extra head, an extra one blade, and some extra tentacles to go on his back right here. So this is the slots here, that's for like the tentacles and stuff like that. So to go, go ahead and say right now, like I said when I first seen the reveal of this figurine, it looked freaking glorious it looked awesome and again i really did like carnage and his design in the v venom let there be carnage his design was very cool even though the voice didn't sound very accurate in the movie still carnage looked like carnage and it was incredible it was incredible to see carnage and full glory in venom let there be carnage but this is the whole detailing of the figure by itself you can see they gave Carnage the long, long claws that he is known to have. And yeah, you can see the detailing they did with the extra tentacles wrangling around all over him and stuff like that. And yeah, this is absolutely cool looking for the most part. One of the best looking Marvel Legends figures of all time. And absolutely loving the details that they did with the tentacle parts flying all over the place. I think it's awesome. I like that they made this an absolute detail for the figuring of Carnage by itself. So, in the next part, I'll go ahead and show you guys Carnage with the other head and the tentacles and pose him as much as I can. Unfortunately, I'm carrying him by the leg because this figuring keeps falling down, unfortunately. So, 
I will see you in the next part where you'll see him with all those tentacles on his back and having the mouth open. Alrighty, I got Carnage with his new other head and obviously with his tentacles on his back and I will say for the most part, the figure feels absolutely more heavy with these tentacles and the good news is the tentacles are absolutely bendable so you can bend them at any place and that way you can have his tentacles literally curve in any way you want and absolutely having the the tr having the tentacles on his back makes this figure absolutely worth the absolutely worth the buy in the millions of ways just a, oh my god like the whole blades by itself the tentacles they did amazing with this i cannot stress this enough to you how awesome this figure really looks so if you're an absolute fan of carnage this is a must buy figurine one of the coolest looking venom movie figures of all time and again like it is very hard to keep this figurine standing because again these tentacles these tentacles make the figurine feel absolutely heavy in the most hilarious way possible i don't know why it feels so heavy with these tentacles but like this figurine could easily fall because of these tentacles it's insane but yeah the detailing on the tentacle blades here are absolutely incredible they definitely did so amazing with them and you could definitely tell they put a lot of passion and hard work with this figurine and make it look exactly like how Carnage looked in Let There Be Carnage. This is one of the best. One of my most favorite Venom movie figures of all time. And yeah, I know they're coming out with a Marvel Legends series figurine of Venom from Venom Let There Be Carnage. But to be honest, I'm not really interested in that figurine of Venom because all it is to me is just the same Venom figure that I got from the first Venom movie, but it just includes extra Venom heads as like the tentacles on his back. And to be honest, it's not, I'm not really interested in that Venom figure, but I would be happy to include this Carnage right by my Venom 1 figurine of Venom. Because I'm fine with just one Venom movie Venom figure. I'm not very interested in getting the Venom with the extra heads. I'm not very interested with that at all. But I am happy to have Carnage in my collection of Venom movie characters, figurine wise. And yeah, I'm glad to have these. I'm glad to have the Venom figure, and I'm glad to have this Carnage figure. But in the next part, I will show you the hand blades. So I will be right back. Alrighty, I got the hand blades on Carnage. And I don't think I remember seeing this hand blade on Carnage in the movie. I'll have to rewatch it. I know I recently rewatched it with one of my friends who have never seen the Venom movies at all. They recently watched the first one, and I just showed them the second one. But yeah, I remember. Th I think I remember this big blade being used, but not this little one here. But again, I have to rewatch it before Venom: The Last Dance comes out. But again. Seeing these blades on him. Oh my god, this is... I can't help but to very much nerd out at seeing this. Because... This is cool. Just in millions of levels, this is cool. Seeing the hands turn into the blades and stuff like that. Now this blade is definitely Riot-worthy weapons. Now obviously, my wonder is... If they're ever going to do a Marvel Legends figurine of Riot from the first Venom movie. Now, I know I'm sure they'll definitely do some Marvel Legends figures for some of the symbiotes that might appear in The Last Dance. And that will be absolutely cool to see. But for the most part, I don't know when they're going to do it. Those type of figurines. But, yeah, this is the Carnage figure for a carnage for venom let there be carnage and yeah i this is one of the best figures ever and obviously at the end of this video you'll be definitely seeing some pictures that i will include at the end with carnage facing off venom oh my god this is like one of the coolest figurines of all time 
I can't wait for you guys to see this. It's amazing to see. So, yeah, I'm very hyped. I'm very hyped to see what other Venom movie figures will come out later on in the future. Again, I'm not excited for the Venom with the extra head figurines that got revealed for Let There Be Carnage's Marvel Legends toy line. I am fine with the Venom figure that I have from the first Venom movie. But this is by far one of the coolest Venom movie related figures of all time. I'm so glad they did Carnage. This is amazing. This is by far the most amazing thing. So if you liked Venom Let There Be Carnage, and if you're just a plain Carnage fan in general, I highly recommend you to buy the Venom Let There Be Carnage figurine of Carnage. It's one of the coolest figurines of all time. One of the best figurines to include with your Spider-Man related Marvel Legend figurines. So, that is all I gotta say for today's unboxing video for my Marvel Legends series, Venom Let There Be Carnage, Carnage figurine. Do you own the Carnage figurine? Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of this figurine. And do you have it or do, are you still waiting for it? Let me know in the comment section below. I will see you guys in my next unboxing video where I'm going to be unboxing a Jax Sonic the Hedgehog 4-inch figurine. The Mac Attack, signing out. Have a good one.